I just saw the Wonka trailer. And Mr. Wonka, I have some questions for you. Now look, don't get mad at me because I'm about to destroy your Wonka chocolate-covered dreams. I'm the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I have some questions after watching that Wonka trailer. Maybe you can help me discover the answers to them. I'm going to react to it. I'm not going to watch it. I've already seen it, but I have some, some questions here. I'm going to point a couple of things out to you guys. You tell me if I've done plum lost my mind. Uh, the first thing is it's it's <laughs> the performance is somewhere between it's like all the it's some of the cringe of the Johnny Depp performance by Timothy Chalamet and none of the charm of Gene Wilder's performance. So I'm a little confused and it's not particular it looks like super kind of sloppy generic like it's not the thing that's so wonderful about the original Chocolate Factory is you had the dull part where everything's extremely dull, where Charlie's still in his house, and everything's like gray and sad and like very normal. But then you get into this fantastical factory that's so out of control, crazy that it's just, it's interesting, it's enjoyable. Apparently, he's some sort of explorer, which is taken straight from the book. And what's a little weird is he doesn't meet the Oompa Loompa on that mm, mission because that's that's how he meets them. He he has to save them from the terrible snicks or something. There's the thing. Like when he Timothy Chalamet is delivering this line, I just I don't buy it. I hate to say it, I just don't buy it. Now don't get me wrong, people might like it. People might think that this is a really great performance. I think this kid's overrated. This didn't win me over, but I do have a question. Here it is. Why is Willy Wonka a man who has to buy a business? He, he travels the world. Why is he with a little girl? Why is she there? What? She's not in the future. So I have some questions about that. A little confused, if you know what I'm saying. So, did the little girl, did he go, did he, did, he didn't, didn't look like he married her. So, she's not in the future. Did he turn her into a piece of chocolate? Did she die like the other kids in the factory? Like, did she stumble into something? And, or did she get blown up like a giant blueberry and we never see her again? This doesn't seem to end well for this girl. I wouldn't want to be this girl. I also am very curious. So when Willy Wonka invites all those children into his factory, they all had to be escorted by adults. It's why Charlie had to take his grandpa. He had to have an adult with him. So there had to be adult supervision. Even in the Johnny Depp version, there's adult supervision. Why is Charlie, or why is this girl with Willy Wonka? And what happens to her? Do I want to know? Do I? I'm scared. I, I I think he might turn her into a piece of chocolate. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of creepy. Why is Charlie hanging out with this girl? Anybody, please explain. Please explain this. I need it now. And then, like, everything else. Like, there's not, like, do I care that he beats out all these other weird chocolatiers like what that's going to be the plot he establishes his first chocolate shop and i get there's like whimsy and don't get me wrong it's from the paddington people who apparently paddington 2 is the greatest movie ever made on earth but i mean am i really looking forward to this i'm not at no point does this trailer make me interested in this I just, there's nothing about it that was interesting. Boy establishes chocolate shop, says, says zany things. And he's hanging out with a, with a young girl. Just gotta tell you, it's a little on the nose here, people. What, what's going on here? And then I guess my, my final thing that I don't really get 
is is this why why the oompa loompa i i get it's uh that famous actor hugh grant i i get that why is he like not even a foot tall and you probably yeah why is he not not even like a you know, I guess Peter Dinklage, who said he was felt that Snow White and the Seven Dwarves was, you know, racist towards dwarves or something. So they had to turn them into like animals, forest animals, so that Peter Dinklage could have every, you know, dwarf job there is. Why hire Hugh Grant and not like real dwarves? Are there are they not allowed to act anymore? Is that a thing in Hollywood now? You're just not allowed to do that? I think Peter Dinklage is a great actor, and I'm not saying he needs to play an Oompa Loompa, but if they wanted Oompa Loompas, couldn't they just hire actual, like, short actors, just like they did in the original movie? Very concerned about this. Why is he trapped in a jar? Wouldn't he die? Wouldn't he run out of breath? Because the whole point is that the Oompa Loompas are friends. They have a, a mutual respect for each other on some level because... Uh, you know, Willy Wonka found them and protected them from the vicious Kernits or whatever they were called. So they decided to come work for him at the factory because he was, you know, a give and take. They would provide labor for him and he pr gave them a place, shelter, free room and board, free whistle, flutes to play songs. I, I just, I'm confused by all of these things and I'm... I, I I need an adult to explain to me why an adult is with this man who is not even like what is going on here? Someone please explain it. I'm freaking out. I'm losing it just a little bit. So two major questions for you to answer for me. Do you like the new Oompa Loompas? Do you feel like this is you know good for anybody? Are you excited for the movie? That's third question and don't get me wrong if, if you think you're gonna like it because it looks like a nice family film have at it folks you don't want to think all that hard about i i get it it's okay it's, it's okay no judgment here not gonna judge you if you want to go see the movie not saying don't go see it i just need to know tell me after you see it what happens to that girl because she ain't in the future why and oh who who asked for this movie did you did you ask for you asked for this movie. I didn't ask for this movie. Nobody needed a prequel. To, to No one needed a sequel or a reboot to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I would have rather they just redid Charlie and the Chocolate Factory than this. It just, just doesn't make any sense. So let me know in the comments below. I read them all and I will be... I, I, I think someone needs to call the police on Willy Wonka. Because we have a missing body. And I want to know where it is. Because I feel like that girl's not going to make it out of this movie alive. So, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, you know the thing. You know the thing! Anyway, I'm on to the next one. Ah.